on today's churchtechcast.com screencast show, upgrading to a newer version of the OS with an older version of ProPresenter 6. Again, to the churchtechcast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week I help you with the software that we use in the church. Pretty much ProPresenter, but other stuff as well. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So, as I'm recording this, um, it's early October. Um, Mac OS Sierra has come out very recently, and I've heard over and over and over again churches saying, Hey, can I upgrade to Sierra with ProPresenter? Can I upgrade? So I thought, I'll bite the bullet. I'll upgrade to Sierra with ProPresenter, and I'll show you what the problem is. And I've done this after the initial release of a new build to fix the problems. So we're going to go through the whole gamut. So let's head over to my computer and take a look at what happens when you upgrade to macOS Sierra before ProPresenter is quite ready for you to. I get what it's like. Apple is really good at updating OS 10 or now called Mac OS every year and there are always new features and it's free so why not do it well let me show you why you need to be more careful when you're updating your OS with ProPresenter so you'll notice that this says download and everything like this well I've already downloaded it and I'm on OS 10 Sierra here let me show you one of the new features their Siri so that just shows you where I am now in the future that's going to be old hat but this same information should carry on whether this is 2016 or 2020 and that is you have to be careful about updating a production machine until everything's tested. And you probably see why. So right here we have um, just one of the songs that I have here in this playlist. And you'll notice that no matter where it is, this bar is in exactly the wrong place. Let's see if I can find something really long and let's see if scrolling affects it. Nope, it's just in the wrong place. That's one of the problems with updating a little too soon. Now, as I'm recording this, um, the people over at Renewed Vision have gone ahead and they've uh, released an update, but I didn't want to do the update until I showed you at least one of the problems with a previous version. So let's go ahead and anytime you're in this situation, first off, you want to keep the previous version should you have a problem um, and know how to revert that. I've got another screencast on that. But let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to update right now. So ProPresenter 6, check for updates. Oh, look, there's an update and various fixes for OS X Sierra. So that is um, the thing that I'm looking to get. So let's click Install Update, and I'll speed up the video here a bit so that this uh, goes a little faster than it did in real life. Okay, now we just click Install and Relaunch. Okay, so now you can see that this did, in fact, uh, fix at least one of the issues here. Um, I'm noticing that my playlist has still disappeared. Might have been something in the transition, whatever. Doesn't matter all that much, but that is uh, just exactly what I would do if I had this problem where I went ahead a little early and I installed the latest version of Mac OS and everything didn't work. Now hopefully you'll, you will wait until Renewed Vision releases the first update 
that fixes that, but if you don't, you might have even worse problems than what you're seeing here. So as you can see, once I upgraded um, to the latest build of ProPresenter, that solved the problem. But it is something for you to keep in mind that what you want to do is you want to upgrade to, Pro, uh, to the latest version of the OS when two things are the case. One, Renewed Vision has a build that is supported for the latest version of the OS, and two, you have enough time to fix it if that doesn't fix it. So you don't want to do this right before church. You don't want to do this when you only have an hour. You want to do this maybe right after the last church service for a couple of days, three days, something like that, when you have some time to go back in and fix it should it break things. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash subscribe. There you can pick up a free copy of my email newsletter along with some gifts, including free uh, mini courses of some of my ProPresenter courses that churches are using all over the world. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity.